Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, today it was a little playtime with my piggy pigments and there I have created some maybe interesting colors. Um, my goal was that I create some interference piggy pigment in brown tones. Um, and for this I have mixed up one part from this little piggy Pinot Gris and one part TLP Comet. Um, this one is some interference red pigment and the other one, this Pinot Gris, is some interference green color and here I have the result. I will show you this uh, in a few minutes in a close-up but it looks really interesting. Here you can see the shimmer from the Pinot Gris and the other way <laughs> I don't know what I have created here maybe some new interference no idea but it is really interesting and I like brown tones so I have play with this color a little bit and have mixed in this color um, a tiny bit of Van Dyke brown from golden and have created this one. It looks also pretty shimmery. I will close up this two in a few minutes for you. It's really also a pretty color. And then I have <laughs> grabbed this color and have put a little bit more from the Van Dyke brown in it and I think this is my favorite from all this, what I have mixed up. Um, it looks a little bit like... Um, I don't know, here is more the... Um, to see this uh, TLP Comet in it, but also this brown shimmer, it looks like a mix between um, Cappuccino TLP and Ballet Slipper. I'm not sure, but this color is really pretty. And then I have created some pretty other color out of TLP Emerald. This is um, some pretty greenish color with blue and golden undertones and I have mixed this up. Disperse the pigments together with Yo Sonja and my pouring medium, my German stuff and have put here in it this is so cool. Um, here in this emerald mixed um, from Amsterdam greenish blue and create this pretty color. Um, it looks like a little bit like um, petrol. I don't know is it right? Petrol. Um, have I here something that has the same color? No. Um, I like petrol colors too, this uh, a mix between green and blue and more the darkest part. And this is the color that I like. Together with this um, sparkles from the interference, uh, not interference, <laughs> too much piggy dust in my brain, um, with the emerald. I will turn the camera down so that you can see all the things what I have mixed up here. 
I also have mixed here the Lonely Pinot Gris Interference Green color. And Van Dyke Brown and TIPR. And what is this? Paints Gray from my last painting session. And I have uh, here a little bit sea glass, but I think it's then too much blue and shimmer in it because I have here this piggies, too much piggies, but I think you don't have never enough piggies. So um, yes, I will turn the camera down and we'll give you a little close up from this colors that I have mixed up here. And then we will test it out for this smart little piece here. And we will show what for a nice color combination we can create here with this one. And when I find a pretty thing, then I will make a bloom with the same colors in another video in book. Okay, we start with this. Um, might try to create some interference brown, but it is too lightly for me. This was the Pinot Gris and the Comet together. Um, it looks more silvery for me. Take a look. There's a little, little, tiny bit of brown to see but it looks more gray or silver. Pretty nice color, but I think that I don't will really use this. This is this one together with Van Dyke Brown. I think this is really nice. Here you can see really pretty. And the last one was this color with more one dark brown. And here you can really see more the sparkles from the comet from the red interference pigment. You see this touch of red in it. I think this color is really interesting. And here, look, here is the red tone. So this color are looking really interesting for me. I think that I will use this. And then my Absolutely favorite color that I have mixed up. TIP Emerald together with Amsterdam Greenish Blue. And take a look how pretty this color came out. Also pretty, I think that I will use this too. Oh my gosh, the old sparkle here. Really nice. <coughs> um, now I am a little bit unsure what colors I will use for my blue. Definitely I will use the Van Dyke Brown. Um, I think interference pigment is a must have in every bloom because this create really interesting effects. So I use this Pinot Gris and 
<laughs> Not too much pigments. Um, Chains gray, I will also use. And now is the question will I go more on the blue tones? With this pretty things here, paints gray, sea glass, and my greenish blue emerald. Or <clears throat> would I like to go more with the or <laughs> um, the brown tones? Just with a little bit blue. I'm totally unsure. <clears throat> um, hmm. What are you thinking? I will use for this white CA. Um, when I look, I think that this with the R is more prettier than with the sea glass. I think we'll use this. Okay. And then I have found here in Germany a new pretty pillow paint. Some cappuccino color, but this cappuccino color bar uh, is too lightly for me. So this was the color, and it was too lightly for me. So I have mixed here in it some black color to create some color for my pillow paint that's more look like. Mm, hot chocolate or what is it chocolate pudding this is the pillow paint that i will use today with my brown tones and my pigments and now i will lift my camera and that you can see better what for crazy. Ooh, what is this? No, that's not pretty. We must have a pretty view for you. Not every time so easy to find the right angle. I think that was pretty. No, that's not pretty. So now he is my MDF board, my cake spinner, and my mixed pillow paint. Um, First, I get the uh, idea in my mind that it's really a good idea to wear gloves when I play with brown color 
not that I have uh, paint under my nails and other people later are thinking that I get a little bored and play outside in the dirt. So we wear gloves when we play with brown color. Um, Looks really delicious. With this color tone, I get a little bit hungry. Give me chocolate. So, um, I think, I think, I think we start with the paints gray or not. Hmm. Just a little bit from the paint spray. Right? And then... This pretty emerald blue-greenish customized color. Um, what next? Mm -hmm. Now, another piece, a little bit more for the golden glow. A little bit from the one dark brown. And then tear peeping of grease. And my mixy mixy brown color. It's really pretty. Really. And now. We end this powder with paints gray again. And now my titanium white Shelly Arps activator. And then I hope for a perfect blow. that there is a little bit clumpy in it. That's not cool. It's not totally ugly, but also not totally pretty. It's a little bit too dark for me. So that is the moment where we will scrap it off.
maybe it was not a good idea to use a brown pillow but maybe I can create here some pretty thing with this here um, so I don't really want to use a dark color at first to light all up so we start with just pretty interference um, <coughs> and then the emerald pins gray this the gray um, Mixy brown to PR. Um, light brown. This looks better. Okay, this looks really better. pretty cells here I will put this pretty thing by side And maybe we make this one a little bit different and use sea glass. And dark brown. Oh. Pinot Gris. Mm. What is this for a color? I found some mixing cup with some mystery color in it. And it is Josonia Aqua. Then I think that we will use this. Sonia Aqua. Emerald. 
section is great. So this one looks nice. And small, this little baby blue. <laughs> I must show you something. Um, my both balloons are now completely dried, but um, I have destroyed my first bloom. Can you see how pretty it looks like at this part? But uh, yesterday I have created some or I tried to create some biggest one, a bigger one, and my spinner spins me away and have made this. So I have destroyed my pretty bloom. This was, by the way, the bloom that I uh, make first with ore and my TLP Emerald mix and the Pinot Gris and my custom brown. Uh, yes, totally shame of my head. Um, and this little guy here was now my second one. Um, I must say I love both color combinations, but I think this one is prettier for me personally. Um, what are you thinking? Option one or color option two? Vote for this, then I will make some in this colors and big. Let me know what you are thinking and sorry for this mistake with my other bloom, but um, I can show you this again with the <laughs> chocolate side, this one. Oh, I'm so sad. It looks so pretty, but this is not pretty with this part here. This dilemma. So, um, if you like my video, give me your thumb and ring my bell. And yes, maybe when you like videos like this, when I mixed up um, different colors out of TLPs, then let me know then where I create maybe one more interesting uh pigments for you and give you maybe an uh, idea what you can create maybe you find um, your favorite color combination in it and also you can write me a comment which color combination you will see next time um maybe some blooms in red or orange or gold 
finished, whatever. And then I will try to create some pretty thing personally for you at my next video. My friends, um, I wish all a nice day and sending best greetings from Germany. Goodbye.